Hi guys, Dave Ware here and this is the third episode of my prog rock vlog uh, where I break down uh, my songs or parts of my songs and um, hopefully give you a little insight into the way they're constructed, some of the sounds I choose, things like that. Before we get started, I've got to talk about the t-shirt. We're on uh, Dream Theatre today. Now, if you've listened to any sort of metal or hard rock in the last 20 years, you will have at least heard of Dream Theatre. They're probably the best known metal prog type bands. Basically, if you like the sound of uh, Metallica with uh, cleverness and keyboards, Dream Theatre is the band for you. We've seen them countless times. I think we've missed two tours since 1997. There you go. And they were the last big band we saw before the UK lockdown back in March or whenever it was. Um, so yeah, great band. Go check them out. Um, really well worth it. So the, um, the song I'm going to do today, or the breakdown, is my title track from my new album blue skies and sci-fi and there's a there's a theme what i would call a theme in the in this song i wouldn't call it a chorus uh, although there is it is sort of sung over once and it feels like a chorus but it's only ever happens once uh, but the theme itself occurs three times i think throughout the track um, so let's go to the screen and we'll break it down right so just to start us off is a nice acoustic uh, which sounds like this that's very nice um, there's two guitars on there uh, one's panned um, far left and one's panned far right. They are both picked acoustics from contact. One of them is using the busker setting and one of them uses the hymn setting. So they're slightly different settings. Um, the reason you use or I use two different guitars is um, it just and pan them hard left and hard right. It just fills out the sound and it just makes it sound nice. If you have one guitar playing right down the middle, it's just, uh, it's not going to give it the production quality that, that I particularly wanted. Uh, so I tend to do this, whether it's um, some heavy rhythm guitar or whether it's a, a nice acoustic guitar or a nice strummed guitar. Try and get two slightly different but contrasting, uh, slightly different but complementing each other and then pan them hard left and right and it, it really works well. Um, so that's what I've done here and that is then a accompanied by a nice Rhodes uh, piano type sound if I solo that for you that comes in here So that sounds uh, rather nice with the acoustic as well. And that's uh, a really nice sound, I think. And that later on gets uh, broken down with just a nice little drum beat and uh, it's sung over. But this is the theme. And me being me, I wanted to put some orchestral stuff over the top of that. Um, so I'll show you that now. It starts with a cello, which is this one here, which is straight out of uh, Spitfire's BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover, which is the freebie. Okay, and that sounds like this. <laughs> Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and that is accompanied by strings. Um, these are going to be 
predictably strings that strings B and I think the next one was is almost certainly oh no they're both strings B okay that was a a decision that I don't remember making but there it is uh, so the strings with the cello sound like this which is rather nice um, needs a bit more so I've added um, some more strings to that just to fill it out a little bit and the strings I've chosen are Epic Strings Originals by Spitfire uh, and they will sound like this which is very nice and with the cello and the strings from Albion Neo which is really nice um, I thought it needed a little bit more and I wanted to put uh, something brassy on there and I decided to go for a horn um, I kind of had this idea of away in the distance um, kind of horns almost you can almost imagine them playing them whilst on horseback it had that sort of feel to it to me uh, stuff that goes through my brain when I'm writing music um, so the horns uh, sound like this actually if I show you what they are first uh, okay BBC Symphony Orchestra long horns and the horns on their own sound like this this section here very very nice um, so put them all in together with the rest of the orchestra Which is great and um, I wanted to put a beat on that and um, quite often sounds nice to have like something almost classical like that and then add something ridiculous and I've added a, an 808 bass uh, with a, a hugely over processed uh, sort of cracking snare drum so if I show you those now the 808 bass is literally an 808 bass straight out of um, Flex, which is the my go-to synth, uh, which is a FL Studio uh, staple. Um, and if I bring up the piano roll, what I've done with this, this is it here. So if I if I play you it, assuming I can find it. Um, this is literally going to go bang, 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 as you can see. But this here, I don't know whether you can see, there's a little triangle on this, this one. This is a slider, so it'll hit this note and then it will slide all the way down. And that, oh, and that um, sounds like this. So it's sliding all the way down uh, to a lower octave and it just gives that sort of deep bassy sound. You, it's difficult to hear actually unless you're sort of listening through headphones or something like that but um, it adds to it. And then I wanted to add a nice big cracking snare on that as well. So um, that is here. These snares, I've actually got two snares. I've got an ultimate snare from Flex which is somewhere, which is there. And um, the other one is is a sample. It's just a sample. So the sample, um, so if I play you one and then the other, so the, the snare out of, um, 
I'll play it with the bass. The snare out of flex gives you this feeling. With loads of reverb, but put loads of 80s reverb on it. And the other snare I've mixed with it is a, is a lower one, I think. Okay. And so together. Okay, now that sounds really over-processed, but when it's all in, it actually sounds pretty good. And um, I'll put those all in with the uh, orchestra now to get the idea of what that sounds like. And that, of course, goes with the acoustic and the Rhodes piano that we had at the beginning. Um, so, oh, I didn't, I'm not sure whether I showed you the Rhodes piano, but that was straight out of flex as well. Um, if you bear with. Yes, yeah, so the Rhodes, it's literally a Rhodes, Rhodes piano straight out of flex. Just to let you know, and put those all in together and it sounds like this. Which is really nice and then just to go over the top of that I've put in a, uh, a synth lead um, which is I tend to do that every time <laughs> I'm predictable uh, but I just love the sound of it I love that sort of synth wave sort of synthy 80s kind of lead sound um, and so that I again I believe is is straight out of flex it is so that's straight out of flex, uh, and I don't know whether you can see on the screen, it actually says lead guitar on this bit here, because I was going to do a guitar solo over the top, and I played around and couldn't quite get it right, and ended up with um, a nice lead sound, a lead sort of synthesizer instead. So that sounds like this. Very, very 80s indeed. So if I put that all in. Okay. Uh, and that actually goes into um, like a little electronic drum beat that I've put over the top of that for, and then I sing over the top of that. So that, that sounds like this. Okay. Okay. So that is the theme. Um, and that repeats a couple of times through the, through the song. The second time it repeats, so there's a verse now, like an opening verse. And then there's a chorus which is over the top of that. So if I show you the chorus um, and show you a couple of the, the things I've done with some of the backing vocals and things like that. So that's this section here. Okay. And the backing vocals sound like this. Blue skies and sci-fi No matter how hard that I try. Okay, so it's three vocals that I've sung, three harmonies. I've put 
a little bit of reverb on kind of like the master of them all, if you like. So I've got three three vocals. They're all chained into one master track or one master channel. And then I've just put a little bit of reverb on that master channel. Um, so they're not all reverbed up. It just keeps them quite tight and doesn't overdo it. I, I don't spend so much effort and time with effects on backing vocals because they're supposed to, in my in my opinion, they're supposed to sit back in the mix and just add to it. They're like another instrument, really. The lead vocal needs more work to bring it to the front and make sure everyone can hear it. Um, so with everything else, um, it sounds like this. Which I think sounds really good. And then there's some lead vocal over the top, which I put on, I, I shall put on for you. And then, uh, so you can have a listen. Um, and then it goes crazy and goes into like a, a heavy, mad, crazy bit. Uh, the song's about um, chemtrails and smart dust and all the conspiracy theories around that. So the song kind of evolves from the, the protagonist looking up at the sky, wondering what's going on, wondering if what he's seeing is actually contrails or whether it's something else. Uh, and then he has a bad reaction to the smart dust, um, which if you follow the conspiracy theory is something called Morgellons. Uh, look it up, it'll blow your head clean off. Um, so the, the middle section of the song goes crazy where he's having troubles as he's having a bad reaction to uh, the, the chemtrails. As I say, it's conspiracy. The joys of being a conspiracy theorist is that you've got lots of crazy subject matter when it comes to writing lyrics. Trust me, it works. <laughs> um, so I'll play the, the, the chorus, if you like, or the theme with the lead vocal over the top as well. And I'll let it play into a little bit of the, the, the crazy bit, but not too much. Okay, so that sounds like this. And there you have it. That's it with the uh, leading into the crazy bit. Uh, and that goes on for a bit. And uh, it does actually return back to the theme eventually. If you check uh, the links below this video, I shall link up the video, the two blue skies. Um, it's a slightly early mix as a lot of my videos are. I shall also link up the new album, Blue Skies and Sci-Fi, um, which you can listen to and buy from Bandcamp or you can listen to it on Reverb Nation or all your favourite streaming sites uh, and I'll, I'll hyperlink that up as well. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks very much and I shall talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye.